Hello gang, hello friends, hello gang friends, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today, I hope this video finds you well. Are you well? I hope you're well. If you're new, hello, my name's Jo and I do nail stuff. She does stuff and nail stuff and the stuff she does for nails is done with nail stuff and stuff for nails. Oh. <laughs> So you remember the other day when I showed you the Vetsy holiday mystery box that was full of just a billion and one things? I will put a link to that video in the description. We're going to do something with them today. Not everything in the box because there was so much stuff, but a lot of the stuff. So I'm going to use these solid gel polishes. I don't think I used the green because I did a green one, didn't like it, got annoyed, gave up. That's why there's only four in the set. Um, but these are these solid gel polishes, which is a Vetsy Cross, oh, Helena, Helen, I'll put it on screen, I can't remember her name, really sorry. So we're going to use the brush that came in the box as well, and we're going to do two nails in red and two in white, and I'm going to do two coats on both of them, two coats on two nails of two colours. And then I figured we'll just chuck Christmas at this set. So I'm taking this is one of the glitters that came in there. This pot of glitter is gigantimous. It's gigantic, it's enormous. I don't think I'll ever get through it all. And there were there were lots of little pots of glitter in there, but a few of them, I think there was three of them that were this size, just huge. So we're going to, I've put some base coat down on the nail, <laughs> where else? And then, but I haven't cured it yet, so don't cure it yet. And we're going to use that base coat to stick on this glitter. And I, 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 I put some on and thought, oh, should we just cover the whole thing? And then thought, no, let's do a fade. So we're going to do it more compact at the top and then fade it out towards the bottom. Sorry, I still sound a bit nasally. It's still getting over this bloody cold. It's just not going. I feel much better. Thank you all for asking. I just still feel really foggy. Like my brain feels foggy, my insides feel just a bit, I don't know, gunky. That's disgusting. I'm really sorry for that. <laughs> um, but yeah, just feel, still feel a little bit like, meh, can't be asked to do anything. So we have cured our glitter fade, and then we're going to slather on a top coat as thick as you are willing to go because we want to seal in all the bits of glitter and then cure it, and then we're going to buffy the vampire slayer all over it to make it nice and smooth, and then dust off any excess, dust off any dust, and then we will top again, so now we have a nice smooth nail, because chunky glitters are a bit of a, a ball ache with gel polish, but as long as you make sure before you cure the glitter, that you sort of look at the nail from all angles. I get my client's hand and I'm moving it around, having a look to make sure it's flat and really flatten it as much as you can. And then that way, when you top and then buff, it will be as smooth as possible. And on this white one, I've put a coat of foil gel, foil gel, and we're going to cure that. And then these are just some of the foils that came in that mystery box, fudging loads of them. So we're going to cut out the bits that I want. This Father Christmas probably wasn't the best idea because the white bits do get a little bit lost on the white background, but it's okay, I think it's fine. So I'm going to pop that on there and I'm going to put all the ones I want on there before I rub a dub dub because you don't want to rub, because I like to use a lint wipe, a dry lint wipe to rub over foils. And obviously I don't want to do that when the other part of the nail hasn't got foil on it because I'll get lint and stuff all over the sticky areas. It would have been a lot easier to take one of those foils because they do have a bunch of random pictures all over them and just put one big piece over it and rub. But I was being picky and fussy so I wanted bits from different ones so I've had to cut them out and then we're going to peel off. You'll see that the top of one of the stockings, I think the one towards the bottom is missing a bit because where I lay it down it was over where a bit of Father Christmas was 
so it wasn't going to stick on top of that but I don't think it's that noticeable and then I decided to add just a couple of bits of glitter and that's what I started to do and then I thought that let's just throw a, a shit ton of it on the nail and just make it look like Christmas threw up on this nail um, I, I had a dream oh in my dream I was feeling really in the Christmas spirit what was I doing I was walking in the snow to the pub <laughs> I can't wait to be in the Christmas spirit. So I'm I'm topping this. Oh, so where I put the base coat down and added glitter to it, I cured it. And then I'm topping. And because they're sort of individual bits of glitter and I made sure they were flat, I don't need to buff it. That is just good to go. Quick, easy, no skill required. And then we're going to, I've put some foil gel on this as well. And I'm going to put a little foil reef, reef, reef on there and peel that off. I think there was a bit that looked like it wasn't coming off properly, so just give it an extra rubby dub and then take that off. And then I was gonna put something underneath it, but I quite liked it how it was. So I'm going to do the same again, take a bit of base coat. We're going to up, up, what's the word? Glow up. <laughs> We're going to glow up the wreath, put some base coat down, put some little red specks of glitter from that same pot and make sure they're flat and cure and then we will top that as well. Super quick, super easy set. This is, they, they scream Christmas and it took no skill whatsoever. As much as I love hand painting and intricate detail, sometimes it's nice to do a set that you can just throw stuff at that doesn't take much time, effort or skill but they still look cool because they're just full of stuffs. <gasps> oh my goodness, I've never used one of these before. So we're going to use this silicon mold that came in the, everything came in the Betsy Christmas box. And I didn't know whether to put some builder gel or some of that 3D sort of solid gel, the sort of sculpting gel in here. Or if you, if you do acrylic, I suppose you could put acrylic in there and then pop them out and then paint them. But I thought that I, I would try and do it in reverse. So I'm taking um, a gel polish and I'm going to paint on in reverse. So you want to imagine you're looking at the front, but work backwards. So the color you want in the foreground, you want to put down first. So I'm going to put some red down and then some little white for Rudolph's eyes. And then I cured. And now I'm taking green, a green gel polish. I wish I'd have picked a lighter green for this. Um, I do when I do the Christmas tree. But, so I've cured the red and then I'm putting the green on and then I'll put the some brown over Rudolph's face and then I'll cure that. And you can turn it over and check that you're getting in all the right gaps and places and things because you'll see on the other side what it's what it's going to look like once you've popped it out. Was this a silly way to go about it? I'm not, I don't think it was because it was easier to hold this thing than it was. So I need to fix a bit there, which I think I do. Um, it was easier to hold this thing and fill in than it would have been, although I could have just made the mold and then blue tacked it to something and then painted it. So I think you can go about it however you wish. But I just thought it'd be cool to try and do it so that when I pop it out, it's done and I don't need to paint it. So I'm taking this, it's called a solid gel. It's thick, it's malleable, and yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. It's good for making 3D objects and things. And I'm going to use that to fill in the rest of this mold because I don't want to do a really thick layer of gel polish to sort of fill out the shape because it won't cure properly all the way through, I don't think. So you can fill this in with builder gel or you could probably get away with a rubber base coat, which is thicker than a normal base coat or poly gel, acrylic, whatever you wish. But I'm using this weird stuff. And then I'm going to pop it out. Wasn't expecting much, but oh, M, goodness. <gasps> Look how cute that is. Look at the detail on the bow. Oh, I'm so happy. So I filled in this, the Rudolph as well with that stuffs. And look at him. 
Look at the, these little antlers, how detailed they are. Oh, and then I did the tree, f***ed up with the white on that, but I wasn't going to do it again. And then I'm going to use some gem gel, a thick one, to stick these onto the nail with. And I'm just going to chuck them all at it. We're just going for easy, chucky, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, nails. So I'm going to pop that on there. You can see that it doesn't move much. This is the um, McCart, I think it's called rhinestone glue. It does need curing, though. So I'll plonk a bunch of that on there, put my little little dudes on there. Oh, there's only one dude. His name's Rudolph, unless we should call him something else. What do you think? And I did intend to put little black pupils in his eyes, but I forgot. So he's got, he's got snow in his eyes. <laughs> he's got cataracts. Um, and then I will cure that. And then I'm going to use the thick gem gel or rhinestone glue to seal in around any gaps obviously these are flat shapes I did try but then I obviously carried on patting got carried away when I was putting filling in after doing the gel polish of these things patting down so that they kind of cured with a curve so that they would curve to the nail but um I don't I think I then forgot halfway through that I was doing that. So they are flat, so I've just filled in the gaps where they're not touching the nail with that gem glue. And then I'm topping. I haven't topped the little um things. What are they? The little things. I just wiped them and left them like that, but I think I should have matte topped the red and shinied the little things. That, I think that would have looked better because shiny on shiny, it looked too kind of blah. But I do like what it looks like here. If you want to get 20% off your Vetsy orders, including their new Christmas box, which is out now, you can use the link in the description and code Miss Joe for 20% off. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments. I appreciate you being here so, so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, bye.